ओके गाइस इट्स मी इमाद फ्रॉम नेल्सन डार्विन पार्क टेक यूट्यूब चैनल टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट ए न्यू थिंग दैट इज कॉल्ड एज टू गेट द करंट डेट एंड टाइम विद इन दी पाई चाम एंड हाउ वी कैन डू दैट फॉर इट फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी हैव टू इम्पोर्ट ए मॉड्यूल नेम डेज दी डेट टाइम मॉड्यूल हाउ वी कैन डू दैट फर्स्ट यू नीड टू राइट import date time as you can see this thing so what it will do this command that is import date time is just like the importing of a library okay so we have imported this date time module inside our what's called as the pie charm or in our program we can say now you need to write any any variable like a b c or anything like so we can just write uh, a a is equal to now a is just a variable you can write anything any name here it, it doesn't matter at all okay after it we need to write date time so this is our module date time is our module then there must be dot date time dot date time dot now okay now what's the meaning of this thing now is a function which will return or which will give us the current time and this function belongs to this class which is called as the date time and if you don't know about the classes you have to uh, have a look on uh, the lecture related to the classes and then you can see that class may contain one or multiple functions within it so this now function is a part of this date time class and this date time class is a part of this date time module so so with this now function from date time dot date time dot now the current date and time will be given to the variable a Will be passed to the variable a, and whenever we will print a, then what will happen? Print function will print the current time and date on the console. Uh, this one is the Python console. You can see uh, on the bottom, okay, where there is cursor is yeah this one. You can see it is written Python console. So now we need to run it out. now we can see that our date is 27 11 20 21 and here this our time 21 colon 09 colon 07 so we got our time okay and if we just got the uh, if we just want what's called as the date then we can write b is equal to date time dot date dot today now today is a function which is already defined inside this date class you are not supposed to be confused at all just you need to know is how they used to work it's not our uh, matter of concern at this moment okay we just we just have to uh, look at this that this today function is the part of this date class and this today function or method will just return today's date to this date class and then to the module and then all will be stored that is today's date will be stored inside this variable b then print p will give us the date so today's date so when we will run it out we can see that we got our date today now if you want to get the what's called is the uh hours today or minutes or seconds or anything we can also write like print a dot okay wait we we need to remove it out then print a dot hours okay uh, we need to write a dot hours and this will give us the hours inside this whole date time return okay now we need to run it out Okay, wait. It's saying hour. Okay, eight or hour, not hours. Now, now we got our twenty-one, which is hour. Like this one is twenty-one, 
now if you want like a print a dot uh, seconds or minute so we can write it out print minute minute print a dot seconds second okay now it is 21 18 and 26 we got our minutes and seconds and all this so in this way we can use to print our date and time uh, in our python program so hopefully you got the concept so thanks for visiting our channel and don't forget to subscribe